A question in addition to the Gold Programming LP uh, for Fairville tax planning was how to implement the uh, preemptive method in Excel. Uh, when you recall the uh, function um, for the LP, for the Gold Programming LP, we had a ranking of, uh, of our goals. We can simulate uh, something similar with respect to uh, modifying our objective coefficients that would do the same. For instance, um, we say that or we assign um, a kind of a weight to um, our first uh, target goal that has a very high cost or a very high coefficient, like um, 10,000. Um, in relation to, to the other data that we have. And uh, our second goal will, would have uh, a smaller number. So um, this assigns a, a very high value to our first goal that needs to be minimized. So um, the um, simplex algorithm would focus on this. Then the second goal would have a smaller number, like uh, 1,000. Our third goal then um, could have also a smaller number and so forth. Um, we recall, for instance, that um, yeah, we had the S4 plus and the S5 plus also involved. Um, so this would get a 10, that is our fourth goal, and then the fifth goal would be um, the modification of the gasoline tax that is at least 20% uh, of the overall um, taxes. So with this weights, um, we simulate or we, we uh, fake the preemptive method, let's say. The rest can stand as it is. So everything else re, um, yeah, remains the same. Our objective is still to, to minimize uh, overall deviations that are given by um, the sum product of our deviational variables and now the weights that we have assigned to simulate the preemptive method. And um, yeah, let's clean this. And the uh, solver then would actually find the um, yeah the optimal value or the optimal solution for it. Another thing that we can do um, if we don't want to um, yeah to to make this work around, um, you recall that for the um, goal programming simplex algorithm for uh, the various uh, goals or the um, the components of the objective functions that we have uh, defined. Um, we required um, more and more goals as we go along our ranking list to, um, to have the component uh, zero. So we could um, simulate the same here with Excel. So we uh, define the additional constraints. I highlight it. You can also just um, put it in the exit solver, but uh, I want to be sure that I know what I'm doing, so I highlight them here, the additional constraints, um, where I require then um, the, the various um, deri derivational variables that would be regarded in um, the uh, preemptive uh, method for the, for the goal programming LP, um, that I require them to be zero one by one by one. Um, so here I do it now for the first uh, four goals. The fifth goal is, uh, is empty because this is the one that we want to minimize. Um, we could also modify the sum product of, um, of the objective function now. That would be more stringent, let's say. But uh, we don't need this for, for getting the, the right solution. So we could uh, leave everything as it is, but uh, we would uh, include now the requirement for the different uh, derivational variables that have higher goals to, to be zero. And this we do for all the four of them. 
And if we run then, so these are the additional uh, constraints. And you can see that uh, none is given for the, for the fifth goal, because that is the one that uh, we want to minimize with the derivation. And if we say solve, then actually we get the optimal solution.